Hey guys, this is Mark, and this is how I water slide. Decal. So why do we want to use water slides? Well, stickers suck. A well-utilized water slide decal can beautifully conform to the, the shape of a model, including like contours and, you know, just resulting in a look that, uh, you know, looks like it's painted on. I first used water slide decals when I was a kid, um, and I would say I got less than fantastic results. So it turns out there's more to it than just getting them wet and slapping them on your model. For custom projects, you can find water slide decals ready to go on a lot of different hobby sites in hobby stores as well as uh, Amazon or eBay. I like to make my own so I can get like exactly the thing that I want. I can create the design I want in Adobe Illustrator where I can precisely control the size of the decal image that I want to use. There are a few different types of decal paper available. Um, what we kind of need to talk about is clear and opaque. <laughs> opaque doesn't work for me because it, uh, it's actually really hard to, to match white. So opaque decal paper is typically white and it's actually really hard to match different shades of white and even that surface texture is going to be different between your plastic model and the white pigment off of the decal paper. So I, I pretty much avoid it unless I'm doing a shape that's really easy to cut out like a square or a rectangle, I just stay away from it. I prefer clear decal paper so I can make the decal blend into the model. There's also different types of paper for different types of printers. Inkjet or laser. Inkjet water is soluble, so in order to use it, it has to first be sprayed with some type of fixing agent so that the ink doesn't run when you get it wet. I absolutely do not have time in my life for that extra step, so I avoid that. I specifically bought a laser printer so I could make my own water slide decals and not have to worry about spraying it with something. Laser printers use toner, which fuses to the paper, so you don't have to worry about ink running. Like That toner is fixed once it goes down. All you gotta do is print and go. So whether you're using inkjet or laser, neither one of them is going to print opaque. That means that putting your water slide decal on a dark or colored surface just isn't gonna work. So it's best to put the decal on a white or, or just off-white surface so that the, the color can be vibrant and you can see it properly. Matching the, the paint of the model or the, the raw plastic color to the color that you're able to get out of your printer is nearly impossible too. And, and black may be the only exception to that. And I've done that a few times on a couple of pieces and it, it kind of works, but you gotta be real careful. If you can, if you can kind of break up your decal along panel lines or, or a surface change, that's kind of the way to go. It is of course possible to make opaque ink on a transparent decal, but that requires a special printer and special ink, and it's a, it's a little bit pricey. So at this point, I've got my design ready to go. I've got the laser water slide decal paper that I like, and I'm gonna send it over to the printer. All right, now that we've got our decals ready to go, let's talk about the actual process of putting them on. Step one, we're gonna clean the surface with hot soapy water. If you're applying directly to plastic, make sure to wash your model first. Plastic molds are coated with the, an agent called mold release. And just like the name implies, this agent helps when removing the casted plastic from the mold. Think of mold release like, uh, like Vaseline in aerosol form. Even if you can't see it, there are trace amounts of it there. And even if you are planning on painting the model first, always wash your plastic first. Step two, we're gonna put on a gloss coat. For best results, give the surface of the model a smooth finish for the decal to bond to. This prevents silvering of the decal where tiny gaps between the surface and the decal can discolor the clear parts of the decal making it stand out. A light spray varnish is best. Depending on the project, I'll airbrush on a, a varnish, or you can use a spray can of clear gloss. Just make sure you go light with it. Step three, have everything ready. Not that you need to rush applying the decals, but once they get wet, the timer is kind of set and you have a short window of time before the decals become useless. When you're cutting out the decals, you don't need to get too close to the, the printed portion 
just give yourself a few millimeters of play. Having everything you need on hand and ready to go before you start can make or break your project. Step four, I recommend using Micro Set, which is available at Hobby Town, Hobby Lobby, Amazon, whatever. The bottle says that it softens, decals, and improves adhesion. Uh, as soon as you open it, uh, unless your olfactory senses are not working, you'll notice right away it smells like vinegar. I looked it up online, trying to trying to find out it like is it just vinegar, and and the general consensus is yes, it's it's a diluted vinegar, which makes it a mild acid, and it, it does exactly what it claims to do. It softens up the decals and makes them stick better to the model. So you brush the microset on the surface of the model where you want to place the decal. I recommend that you make sure the surface is visibly wet when the decal makes contact. This will ensure that the decal can be easily repositioned. The water slide decal only needs to go into the water for maybe up to a 10 count. It's just a couple of seconds. It doesn't have to soak. If you leave it in there too long, the paper backing is going to just fall off of it and then good luck getting any use out of that decal. You want to get it nice and damp, take it out, let the water kind of finish softening up the glue, and then you, you give it a little slide with your fingers to see if it, if it easily is going to slide off the paper back. And, and if it starts to slide off, you know it's good. It's time to put the decal on the model. Wait a few minutes and lightly brush on a coat of microset to the top of the decal. This will further soften the decal so it can smoothly conform to the surface. You'll want to press just straight down directly on the surface of the decal with a lightly moistened paper towel. This is going to squeeze out any kind of trapped air or excessive moisture between the decal and the surface. Uh, which is just gonna, it's gonna make it adhere nicely, but it's also going to prevent silvering, which is where the clear portion of the decal can kind of stay visible. Once you've done this, the decal's not moving anymore. It's done, it's fixed. If you try to move it after this point, you're gonna shred it. If the decal needs help conforming to contours like panel lines, you can use Microsol. Microsol will further soften the decal and it's, it's likely made of a diluted acetone and like acetone is brutal if you've never used it like it will melt it will straighten melt plastic a few seconds after you've applied the microsol the decal becomes too soft to touch any further like don't don't brush it don't touch it with a paper towel don't let your fingers scrape against it just just step away from it uh it's best to give it a couple good couple of hours to to dry out and cure and solidify uh, really best practice is just wait till tomorrow just let it go overnight and that's going to ensure that everything is nice and stable before you touch it again. Step five will be a top coat. A clear spray of your choosing will protect the decals and give the project a uniform surface. On most military vehicles I use a clear acrylic mat. On other projects a gloss or satin coat may be more appropriate. Again let, let it just cure overnight before you do anything else. If you're planning to do more painting or weathering effects, they should be done after this top coat goes down. So that's it guys. That's my ultimate guide to water slide decals. Hope you found it helpful. Um, you know, the, the key ingredient is patience. Just taking your time, letting things dry and cure before you, you do the next thing so that it, it has time to solidify. And, you know, be patient. Everything's gonna turn out fine. Uh, so here's the obligatory hit like, hit subscribe for more content. Feel free to check out my Patreon for some exclusive stuff. And uh, the links are all down, you know, down there. <laughs>